All right, boys, today we're gonna to teach you how to tune your BL1 to your machine. Right now we got a Cat 305. We're gonna do a little tune on this guy. It's a used head, get her up to spec. We'll show you how to do it real quick. All right, first thing, you, all right first thing you wanna do is you wanna go off your bottom pulley. Piece of reflective tape and your tachometer. Bada bing, bada boom, you get this in Napa. Right there. Uh, that's as much part number as you get. Okay, we're gonna go off of, we haven't opened this cover yet, but we're going to, this is our return and our pressure. Return blower is gonna be on our right side, pressure on our left. Case strain we usually put on the right too. Quick disconnect fittings, barb fitting here, half inch case strain right here. Main return line, we just zip tie is the easiest way to do it. You just zip tie your case strain, come all the way back, put a few hose brakes in it, and then we're gonna tee into our tank, unless we have an extra port. If you have an extra port, go directly to your tank. And since we don't on the CAT 305, our case strain's coming in through here. We're gonna tee into, the, into our biggest port that we have. It's only dash six. We use a dash eight case strain. That's as good as you're gonna get on 305. Okay, we got our electrical on this side. You can make something fancy if you want. A little quick disconnect fitting for your electrical. Usually we just zip time because you're gonna smack that off. But you know, sometimes guys like the quick disconnects. So we did it on this guy. So this runs all the way back. You're gonna snake it through here. On a mini excavator, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a body panel on, under your feet that you can snake it through. Come up, double side tape, the switch box to the window. That is the easiest way to do it. All right, boys, I'm gonna leave this fucker untuned so I can show you how to tune it. I know it's gonna be way too much right now because it was on a Cat 308, and now we're going to a Cat 305. So we're going to show you what the RPM is, and then we're gonna show you how to adjust it to up your RPM. All right, you need a five millimeter hex, 17 wrench, and uh, we'll show you it uh, as it is right now, and then we'll show you how to change the speed of it. So as you can see, we have 2,400 RPM. We need 3,000. So here we go, we're gonna switch it. Do a little tune. Now I ain't no videographer, so bear with me. We're gonna, this guy right here, it's gonna be the side on your case drain. It's gonna have a cap on it, wherever it went. There's gonna be a black cap on it. It's gonna have all this shit on it. You pull the cap off of this screw yank it off a pair of pliers and we're going to adjust it all right so now we retune our head we screwed the screw out that's going to give us more flow now we're trying to increase our speed tune a BL1. You want it 3,000 RPM plus or minus 100. It's really easy to get 3,000. It's not nothing crazy. You just gotta adjust the screw in and out. Get your to your 3,000. You want to make sure you check your PSI, especially on anything that's not a cat, like John Deere. You definitely want to check your PSI because sometimes out of the factory they're set at 1,500. Sometimes they're set full blast at 3,200. You just want to make sure you're giving this thing enough pressure. Um, your flow on these minis, I mean, you just max them out as high as they can go, and then you tune your head accordingly. Once you start getting into the bigger hose, it's a whole different ball game. 
But with these mini excavators, super simple. Max your flow out, tune your adjustment screw, tack it, get to 3000 RPM, and you're tuned, ready to go. Another thing, you always gotta make sure that you're going straight to tank. It's just like running a breaker. So you either put it in breaker mode or you have a valve on the side panel here. You got this valve right here. Shows the breaker or your claw. Always want it to be going straight to tank. You do not want it to be going through your valves. It's gonna cause heat restriction and things not gonna run right. 